We got power! Finally, at 1 a.m. last night, our lights turned on, our house was buzzing, and we had to get out of bed and turn everything off. But it was good to have some power back. Right now, headed to work. Got twit in my ear, the new one came out yesterday. Today is WWDC at 12 o'clock. Hopefully Apple uh, shows us something cool. Going to work. So the new iPhone 3GS came out a couple of hours ago and it does video, which is awesome. I always said that whenever the iPhone does video, I was gonna, I was gonna get the latest model. I'm on T-Mobile, so I'd have to wait for some sort of uh, hack before I would even get it. And also I'd have to pay the full price of it, which would be like 500 bucks, as opposed to the 199 or 299 they have it priced at. So, I don't know if I'm going to get it or not because that would mean I would have to switch to AT&T and AT&T's coverage is eh, not all that great. I was actually hoping that they would switch to a different provider being that two-year contracts are up on AT&T, they could renegotiate contracts, but that didn't happen, unfortunately. Also, the new iPhone supports tethering except not in the US because AT&T sucks. I noticed though that if you go and look at the networks that do support tethering, T-Mobile is on there and T-Mobile I think they have a contract for Germany and Germany tethering is supported on the new iPhone via, uh, via T-Mobile. Another reason why Apple should switch over to a different network uh, possibly in this case, preferably Verizon, because uh, they have a faster network than most others. And if it were to go to Verizon, that's someone that I would switch to, because Verizon has a lot better coverage than pretty much any other network, I would say. Got a compass on there, so now you can orient yourself on your maps whenever you're getting directions. TomTom Tom is doing uh, some cool applications as far as mapping for GPS turn-by-turn -turn directions, that'll be cool. Devices you can hook up, that's cool also. I didn't really see much. Uh, I'd be interested to see if they're gonna make the little plug-in device to get video out of the entire phone onto a screen. Not just video, not just games, but the entire springboard and everything. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I have my uh, phone jailbroken, is because it has that screen out so that I can do my iPhone app show. Copy, cut, paste, all that, we knew about that. The voice, you can now say, I wanna call blah, 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 and it'll call it for you, or play artist Bon Jovi, and it'll play all their songs. That's kinda cool, voice control. Honestly, that's about it. Supposedly it's faster, supposedly better battery life. I'm interested to see how many problems they have with it, because I know between the, the first gen and the 3G, there were a lot of problem, more problems with the 3G than with the first gen, so that would be interesting to note. New upgrades to the MacBook, a 13-inch MacBook Pro. Uh, they've almost taken the entire MacBook line to the Pro, except for that $899 thingamajig. Snow Leopard coming out soon, that should be cool. Some new features there. You can download movies and rent movies directly from your iPhone. That's pretty sweet. So yeah, that's uh, new stuff from Apple that I can think of off the top of my head. I don't know if I plan on getting the new one. On another note, next Wednesday, the 17th of June, I will be speaking in Oklahoma City about uh, video blogging, podcasting, the internet, Twitter, social media, you know, all that great stuff I do online. So if you are in the Oklahoma City area, I think the talk's gonna start around 6.30, and I'll be getting there earlier, so if you wanna come and talk to me, I'll probably be getting there around two or three. Um, and it, I'm gonna be there till probably about eight or nine that night, just hanging out. The, the talk supposedly starts at six, so yeah, I guess about eight or nine be right. And it'll be fun, be a good time, come out and meet me. Come hang out, come do the dang thing. 
and learn some stuff. So it should be a good time, should be a good talk, should be fun. Hope to see you there. Hi guys, we're just seeing some grapes here. We're flying. He's like in love with these grapes. They're kind of tart to me though. Oh my gosh. You took a lot of grapes. Not really. Look at all that hair, Zephyr. That's from you. A lot of y'all have been asking what I thought of The Hangover. As y'all know, I saw it the other night, and a uh, really funny movie, I'm not going to lie. Uh, not for kids, uh, and there's uh, some private parts towards in the credits, so most of y'all probably don't want to see it. Uh, but it is funny, very funny movie. I uh, definitely would recommend. Uh, it's I think it's fun to go see in theaters just because you have the other audience there laughing with you. Uh, if y'all don't know what it's about, it's about these uh, four guys that go on a uh, bachelor party to Las Vegas and they can't remember anything from the night before. So they have to go around Las Vegas trying to figure out these clues of what happened. Heather Graham is in it. Uh, the guy that plays Andy from The Office is in it. Mike Tyson is in it. So they have a, a very interesting cast. I can't remember the name of the, the three other main dudes, but they're all really good. I uh, definitely would recommend. Uh, they have some great personalities throughout the movie. And uh, go see it. LaneVids.com Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash LaneVids. Subscribe to my YouTube blog, tv.com slash people slash lane vids. The internet here. Do it.